Hello everyone, welcome back. As you know, we have been on a break over the holidays, but now it's time to get back to work. We have a water problem. We've been working on our kitchen for what seems like forever, but we were reminding ourselves this week that we really haven't had this kitchen for that long. But it was three months ago when we finally got running water for the first time. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. The other day, our water inside the house stopped working and we got into the house to figure out what was going on. And we found out that this is our pump. It had burned through and the cord it's burned through the cord and through the plastic. Since this has happened, we figured out that that's actually a common problem for this pump. So we have ordered a new one, totally different brand, different pump. And we are gonna be waiting a while for that. But we actually have this other pump that needs a good cleanup. Um, but we used to use this for our outdoor shower and now we have a battery operated one. So this is an extra, so I'm glad we have that. I had to pick up some pieces to make it fit right, but we're just gonna temporarily attach that so that we can have water inside. Also on the list for today is to work on our gray water system. You may wonder what this graveyard looking pit is. We had someone come with an excavator. They leveled out another area for our sock tank pool. We just asked if he could go ahead and dig this pit while he was here. It took him like two seconds. It would have taken us in a whole day. But um, so we've had this pit sitting here for months, like six months maybe or longer. Recently, Johnny Rose has shown interest in getting in here and he comes in with mud up all the way up his legs. So I tried to kind of create a barrier to keep him from doing that, but then he just started coming in another angle. So I really am ready to get that covered up. together so this filter is this is a sediment filter so that's gonna get out big sediment before it goes into the pump and into our water line it's a lot of little parts and plumbing is very annoying if you didn't know Casey and I install sock tank poles and do lots of things involving sock tank poles which means we do a lot of plumbing and Casey can attest that she hates the plumbing aisle more than anything in the world. But yeah, there's a lot of little parts, but I think this is gonna work. Okay, I have this all attached and I'm about to, um, this little IBC tote right here, I'm gonna open the valve so that the water flows and we have to drain the air out of the, I need to fix this. Uh, filter. Once we get the water going in here, we're gonna plug this in and see if it works. Is it coming out? Yeah. All right. We have come into a lot of problems, so very frustrated right now. Um, I ended up having to take the sediment filter off because the part that was connecting it to the other pump, it twists like this, and I don't understand the purpose of that, but that leaks and there's no way to fix it unless I altered the part somehow, but I just wasn't gonna do that right now. And then I hooked up the pump and basically it's just not working. Um, the pump is working, but it just cannot get water up to the sink. So Casey is going to get a water hose attached to our neighbor's house so that we can maybe put some more water in our tank and see if a little more water in the tank would push a little more pressure down into the pump 
see if that'll help. If it doesn't, we'll just hook it up to our um, line down here so that we can do dishes because we haven't had water for a few days and doing dishes is very hard when you don't have running water, which we did it for an entire year, but it's just a lot of work and um, takes a lot of time. And so we definitely would like to use our dishwasher and also, you know, have running water to do the things that don't go into the dishwasher. So she's doing that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut this 55 gallon barrel. This is a barrel that we got for free and we got two of them, maybe actually we got three of them for free and they've never been used for anything, but we are going to be using this in our gray water trench. And so I basically have to cut this in half all the way around and I'm going to use our jigsaw. I'm gonna use this drill bit to cut a hole so that I can actually get the jigsaw in there. See if this is working. Is it working? Yes, but it's like trying. Maybe it's just gonna take a minute. Yeah. Well, that is not working either. Well, I am wet now. So we're going to not worry about the water line to our house until our new pump comes in because we've tried a lot of things. This IBC TOFA, the lever to get the water out is obviously on the side to the house. I couldn't come out here and get water out of here if I needed to. We have another IBC tote uh, that's empty at the top of our property and we're going to bring that here, have it turned around this way prop it up on some cinder blocks and put it over here so that in the meantime I'll be able to just come right here fill this water up and we won't be able to run the dishwasher so that is sad but this is a short-term problem. What's the worst work that we do on this land? Leveling. Not a good group task. You know, you really got to be in sync. Your brains need to work exactly the same. I honestly think leveling should be a do it by yourself kind of project. Cause yeah. <laughs> She's always saying, "Let me, let me do this. You go do something else." Like, yeah. I don't, I don't like group leveling. Anyway, <laughs> we have to do leveling all the time. All the time. Our land is not straight flat. But we've got these basically as level as they're going to be. Good enough. Good, good enough. enough. Not, none of our, this isn't perfectly level. The other IBC tote isn't perfectly level and it, it's fine. See, on this, like this, we're like, that's great. All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. On it. Should we just like, well, okay. Well, yeah, let's. Line it up for the front. Yeah. Let's try to lift it. Yeah, let's get, let me get balance. Is it good on your side? Yeah. Hello, Ramona. Oh, that's water. I missed it. So the reason that we even have these IBC totes here is that we are going to put gutters on the house and they will drain right here. So we will be on rainwater. 
but we do not have that done yet. So we are filling up with our neighbor's water, which we've talked about that before. They are kind enough to let us use their water. Because here you get, you get charged a flat fee and you get I think like 1600 gallons and then you get charged over top of that. If they go over their allotted amount for each month, we'll just pay them the extra money. But eventually these two will be hooked up to each other. You'll still be able to get water out here. They will feed into the kitchen, both of them, and they will both get water from up here. <laughs> I stand alone. Show me where the end is. Honestly, I should be the last. Okay, we are going to break for the day because it is the winter. And we haven't eaten yet. Yeah, we haven't eaten lunch yet, and. Um, we are going to go do that, but it will be dark by the time we're done. So we will pick this project back up tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, we're only a day away. <laughs> able to get both of our IBC totes filled with water and we now have closer access to the house for water right now. Today's goal is to get the gray water system fully installed so that we are no longer using a bucket as our drain for when the water drains out of the sink. Does it look like it's threaded? Hmm. I can tell how I'm having a time. This won't fit in here. I'm going to just use some self-tapping roofing screws to attach these together and I'm going to probably put a lot of screws in there. Christmas holiday break, the van broke down on PC, 
in Nashville, and that's a whole other story, but I believe the part that we need is in the van. So she's having to go into town where the van is being fixed to hopefully retrieve that part so we can complete the system. But I still have everything I need to do outside, so I'm going to measure um, exactly what size pieces I need to connect a whole drain up to the same door. I can already see that one section is not um, going in the direction that I want. Like I think it's level and you of course want it to drain a little bit off level in the direction away from our house. So I'm gonna go get a level just so I can make sure. I was waiting to drill the hole in the house until Casey confirms that she has that thing that we need in her hand. I have my level. Also, it feels like it could rain at any moment, which would be problematic because this thing, it doesn't fill up with water, but it will get a water in there and that won't be the end of the world. But if it rains a lot, it can fill up and then it's just gonna be a problem. So we need to finish before it rains. Even if it sprinkles, we can keep going, but it all depends on if Casey is going to find the part. <laughs> This is why you do not level by eye because to me by eye this looked like it was going back that way but it is indeed going this way which is what we want. <laughs> Here we go. No, my hands are purple now. All right, my hands are officially going to be stained purple. I think this is a two and a half inch uh, drill bit, I mean, hole saw and it has an arbor so that we're not just like, it's gonna hold it in place while it's drilling. I'm gonna go ahead and drill. I measured underneath the house and it's hard to show that, but where the hole needs to go. So I'm gonna move some stuff out from under the sink and drill a hole down there and it will be enough where the fitting that is going from a two inch PVC pipe to a one inch PVC pipe, that fitting will fit in partially through the hole. So we're kind of like gonna be sealing up um, the little hole with that, which is good because you don't want open holes just like in your uh, floor or any part of your house. Well, I think I'm just stalling now, but I think it's time to drill a hole in the floor. Welcome to under our sink. One and a half inches. <laughs> Is that good? So that's gonna come up here, and then there's gonna be a. Ooh, maybe I should wait. I am just realizing that I kind of need to have that part that Casey has to make sure it's gonna fit perfectly in alignment with this hole. I don't really know what I would do if it didn't fit because there isn't really an option. Like I can't move the pipe underneath. It's in a. I mean, I can move it a little bit, but. 
I think I'm gonna have to wait till I drill the hole until she gets here. I think she should be here really soon. Yep, I can see the ground. There's where we're going. Boop. Keep pushing hard. It's mm -hmm. good. All right. Here's the system. Now we have to make sure it works. All right, so I'm, I'm about to pour this. It's not full but this larger amount of water into the sink. And then Savannah's gonna video what happens. We're just making sure there's no leaks, but this is very exciting. It's one of those things that is anticlimactic once it's done. You're glad it's done, but you're just like, you know, you get to pour things down your sink and it, it goes outside and, you know, there's not a big, flashy ending. All right, here we go. Nothing leaked on my end. It worked. So now we need to put that fabric on and then cover it up. Cover it up. You ready to do it? Kind of. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for this to be gone. This mound. You can't even tell, but. It's about to be dark, but I guess we'll do as much as we can. Yeah, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so. Mm. Mm. I'll motivate you. in the backyard has been an eyesore for months and it was a constant reminder of a project yet to be complete. This week we completed the gray water project start to finish and our day-to-day -day lives have instantly improved. Come back next week as we continue to check off projects from our long to-do list. Thanks for watching.